こんにちは。英語のシャドーイング練習教室へようこそ。司会のシャドウです。ここでは役立つ英会話を練習してネイティブ英語を身につけよう。日常生活で使える英語フレーズを10個、10回ずつ読み上げるから、その後に声に出して10回練習しよう。それじゃあ、始めるよう。Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. Hey Taylor, I'm really struggling with my TOEIC vocabulary preparation. There are just so many challenging words that seem to come up. I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble?
I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? I can understand that, Alex. TOEIC does have a reputation for testing a wide range of vocabulary. But with systematic study, you can master it. What words are giving you trouble? Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember.
Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Well, words like proliferate and ameliorate are tough. I know they mean to increase rapidly and to make something better, but I find them hard to remember. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin.
Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. Those are some hefty words, for sure. A good way to remember proliferate might be to break it down to its root, pro, which often means forward or forth, and life rate, which sounds like liberate. So you can think of ideas at springing forth. And ameliorate comes from a meaning toward and melior, which is related to better in Latin. That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, 
like subsidiary or acquisition. That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? That's a helpful trick. Breaking down the words does seem to make them more approachable. Exactly. How about words related to business, like subsidiary or acquisition? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right? Oh, those come up a lot. A subsidiary is a company controlled by another, and an acquisition is something bought by a company, right?
spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Spot on. For a subsidiary, you might think of sub as under, so it's under the control of the main company. And acquisition comes from acquire, which means to buy or obtain. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. 
And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, 
and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. Got it. And then there are financial terms like diversify and liquidity. Diversify means to invest in a variety of assets to reduce risk, and liquidity refers to how easily assets can be converted into cash. To remember diversify, think of diverse, which means varied or different. For liquidity, you can associate it with liquid, which flows easily, much like cash should in a liquid market. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. 
Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. That makes sense. And I suppose regular review and usage of these words is key to really learning them. Absolutely. Make flashcards, use apps, and try to read business articles or listen to financial news where these terms are used in context. The more you see and hear these words, the more familiar they'll become. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex.
It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. Thanks for the advice, Taylor. I think I need to immerse myself in the language a bit more. Anytime, Alex. It's all about consistent exposure and practice. Keep at it, and those TOEIC words will start to stick. Good luck with your studying. の練習はこれで終わりです。お疲れ様でした。もしよかったらチャンネル登録をお願いします。それじゃ、またね。